Welcome back to This Week in Video Games and Zoo. He is back for the weekend in Destiny 2, and he comes bearing gifts for exotics and legendaries in exchange for legendary shards. Do you pick up exotics and legendaries you don't have, including weapons and armor? And if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, let's check out and see where Zur is on the 3rd of December 2021. As you can see, Zur is in the tower, so land at the courtyard. Head down the stairs into the hangar, and there you'll find Zur. Let's check out and see what Zur's got for us this week. Okay, so starting with the exotics. So for the weapon this week, we've got the Huckleberry. That one is a very handy submachine gun. For the Hunters, we got the Raiden Flux, very good exotic. That is a 61 roll with good mobility, not bad resilience and intellect as well. We got the Insurmountable Skull Fort for the Titan. That one comes with good strength and mobility as well, and that's a 63 roll. And then for the Warlocks, we got the Apothesis Veil, and that is a 63 roll. And that one comes with not bad recovery, although overall the stat distribution is quite even. We could check out the exotic engram, pick it up to get a world drop exotic. You can get a weapon or a piece of army you haven't got yet, so if you're missing something from this list, pick it up and see what you get. Well, let's have a closer look at the exotic loot for the week, starting off with the Huckleberry. This one comes with Ride the Bull, so increased rate of fire and recoil when you're holding down the trigger, and kills with the weapon reload a portion of the magazine. That is a really, really good submachine gun. A little bit under love these days, but still really, really good. Check out the Raiden Flux for the Hunters. This one comes with Synapse Junction, so quick successive attacks with the Arc Staff increase the damage output and the duration. So let's check out the Insurmountable Skull Fort for the Titans. This one comes with Transfusion Matrix, so kills with the Arc Melee ability, triggers health regeneration and restore melee energy. Finally, for the Warlocks, we got the Apothesis Veil. And that one comes with Insatiable, so immediately regenerates health, melee, grenade, and rift energy upon activating your super, and nearby allies recharge class abilities faster. Well, that is it for the exotics today. Let's check out the legendaries and see what Zur has got in terms of weapons and armor. So first of all, we've got the Dire Promise. This one comes with Snapshot Sights, an elemental capacitor, so Snapshot Sights is good for PvP, I'm not really sure about Elemental Capacitor, so that is a pass from me. Got Enigma's Draw, that is a sidearm. It's opening shot and rapid hit, not too bad. Again, a pass. False Promises, that one is a Kinetic Auto Rifle Threat Detector, Eye of the Storm. Again, I'm going to pass on that one. Then we got the Icolos Sniper, so that one comes with no distractions and box breathing, so that one could be really good for PvE. We've got the first in, last out shotgun. That comes with auto-loading holster and demolitionist. Again, that could be really good for PvE content. Then we got Honor's Edge. So that comes with energy transfer and shattering blade. That is a pretty good sword. And finally, we've got the Keening. That comes with rapid hit and surrounded. Well, that is probably the best role that we've got here. Out of all these weapons, I would say the sniper is pretty good. Shotgun, also pretty good. And then you've got a good Keening as well. Let's check out the armor. So we've got the Sword Flight 4.1 armor here. Let's have a look at the stats. So we've got the arms here. So that's 19 recovery on the arms for the Titan. Sorry, I should say for the Hunter there. 14, 16, 16 on the chest piece. Pretty even stat distribution it looks like today. Nothing really stands out. Not quite as good as last week when we had the opulent armor. But well, that is it from Where is Zur on the 3rd of December 2021 and Zur. He will be hanging around Destiny 2 in the tower until reset on Tuesday. So if you want to pick up any of these exotics and legendaries, go ahead and find him in the tower and trade in those legendary shards. So as always, thank you so much for watching and for more Destiny 2 content like this. Like, subscribe and share with a friend. I hope you have a great weekend. And of course, we have the 30th anniversary to look forward to 
And I do think Zur is going to be a big part of that. It looks like he's going to be in the dungeon and hopefully we're going to end up buying the Galahorn from him, just like we did in Destiny 1. Well, thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great weekend.